Hi, this is Josh. I'm a pharmacist with PharmacistTips.com. Here today just to talk a little bit about levothyroxine, talk about the use, the dosage, and the side effects of this medication. First off, what is levothyroxine? It's a synthetic thyroid hormone. Um, it's used to treat low thyroid or replace thyroid in the body. It is what is known as T4. It's, so it's basically converted by the liver to the more active form of T3. Uh, that is the one that the body uses. In the US, the most common brand names are Synthroid and Levoxyl. There are also others available. And this medicine should never be used to augment weight loss to, unless labs show that you are low on thyroid and the weight gain could be due to the low thyroid levels in the body. If your thyroid levels are normal and you use it for weight loss, it can cause serious side effects and even death. Uh, that your doctor, your healthcare provider will adjust using lab results. They'll test TSH or thyroid stimulating hormone. They may do other labs as well to determine what your thyroid levels are in your body. The dosage of levothyroxine can vary. It starts at low of 25 micrograms and increases in increments um, all the way up to 300 micrograms that dose is not used very often at all. Many people uh, kind of fall into this range. Um, and then over time, you may be bumped up, but those higher doses are rarely used. And again, your healthcare provider will monitor with labs to determine the appropriate dose for you. So what's the best way to take levothyroxine? First of all, consistency is important. So if you've been taking levothyroxine, do not change how you're taking that without talking to your doctor. Um, I know when I first got out of pharmacy school, there was a patient who'd been taking levothyroxine for a long time, and then she noticed her label said, take on an empty stomach. She started taking it differently. She took it on an empty stomach with water, and then her levels got too high. It was causing her insomnia. She couldn't sleep. She was anxious. So uh, if you're already taking levothyroxine, do not change that until you have a chance to talk to your doctor. But it is recommended that it be taken on an empty stomach with water and you wait 30 minutes prior to eating. Uh, so well, symptoms of low thyroid, um, fatigue, fluid retention, hair loss, unable to tolerate cold, a sluggish feeling. Some people report their skin is um, dry and scaly. Symptoms of high thyroid. Now this can happen because your thyroid is overproducing or because you're getting too high of a levothyroxine dose. It can cause racing heart, abnormal heart rhythm, anxiety, nervousness, a feeling of always being too warm. It can cause some tremors. And again, this is why it isn't used as a standalone for weight loss. When you have normal thyroid, these things can cause serious heart problems. What about hair loss? Hair loss is a big concern with levothyroxine, and it's hard to know why it's occurring. You may just be hyper aware of your hair after you start on a new medication. It could be a symptom of low thyroid. Again, you're your healthcare provider can look at your labs and determine if that is a probable cause. It could be temporary. Some people report when they first start on levothyroxine that they notice some hair loss that improves over time. Many thyroid conditions can be related to autoimmune diseases and autoimmune conditions can also cause some hair loss. Um, some people are a poor converter. If you remember, this is converted to the active form and some people just cannot convert the thyroid properly in their body and that your doctor may decide to put you on a different form of thyroid that your body does not have to convert. Uh, some people report hair loss resolving that way, but be sure to always discuss this concern with your doctor. You don't want to just stop the medication. You want to have a nice dialogue with the doctor, explain your concern, see if they want to do some labs, if they can determine why that's going on. Some of the side effects of levothyroxine, again, this is gonna kind of go back to what we saw with symptoms of 
low thyroid or high thyroid, it can reduce appetite. Again, we can see that anxiety, diarrhea, people have problems sleeping or insomnia and again hair loss others of course can occur but as a whole if you've had low thyroid many people report just feeling much better once they're started on a supplement uh, some of the more rare and serious side effects can include again those heart problems high blood pressure heart pain or angina even lead to heart failure seizures as well as others Some of the more common interactions, we can see it with theophylline, that's uh, medicine used for breathing. We don't see it used as much anymore. But food, especially fibrous food, we can see if it's taken at the same time, the, the thyroid won't absorb into your body properly. We want to avoid it with antacids and iron supplements. It's best to wait four hours between the dose of antacid or iron supplements in your thyroid. Um, again, you can talk to your doctor or pharmacist if you have questions about that. And there are other interactions as well. Your pharmacy can help screen for that. And uh, most, uh, they're not, it's, you can usually manage those potential interactions. Again, that goes back to your doctor monitoring your labs. Uh, I do appreciate you watching this video. I hope you found this information useful. Remember to always talk to your healthcare provider before you make any changes, how you take the medicine, don't stop it. If you have any concerns about side effects or interactions, please contact your healthcare provider right away. And I'd appreciate it if you'd subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.